Hi guys, Steph here. Today we're going to show you how to fill a Schaefer PFM fountain pen. Now, first of all, it helps if the pen is actually in working order and it's been serviced. This particular one came to me um, for a service. It's going back tomorrow, Monday, and as you can see, it's in beautiful condition. We've put a new um, point washer in, we've put a new sack in the pen, a new o-ring to the end, and a new rubber washer um, to the blind cap at the end of the barrel here. Now if we take the cap off and show you the pen give you different twirls. It comes with a lovely Schaefer 14 karat gold nib. This particular one um, is an italic nib. This particular pen is made in Canada and it's actually the Schaefer PFM Mark III fountain pen. So how do we fill these particular pens? First of all what we do You've got this little knob to the end of the barrel there. We simply turn that to our left. And as we're turning it, you'll see that the, the snorkel tube comes out of the section to the front there. And then what we do, we simply pull out the, uh, the tube there like so. Now, some people believe that this particular pen is filled by pulling out on the tube while the uh, snorkel tube is dipped in ink. That's not the case. The way you fill these pens is you press down on the filler tube here while the snorkel is dipped in the ink and what in effect happens the um, sort of a vacuum if you like inside uh, scrunches down on the sack. Once you push down on this plunger leave it a few seconds and the sack will open up and fill the pen with ink. So let's do that. Let's bring on some ink. Let's dip the snorkel tube into the ink and push down on the plunger. I hope you could hear that. There was lots of bubbling noises. What we're doing, we're just leaving the, the snorkel tube in the ink for a few seconds um, until the sack, if you like, in, say, inside inflates again and fills the, fills the pen with ink. So what we do now, we turn the the knob to the end again and that will retract the snorkel back into the section like so. Pop the ink to one side, let's bring on some paper. This is the first time it's actually been tested since we've actually uh, serviced it so hopefully everything should be fine. What we have here is a Schaefer As we said, this one is a P, PFM, and we're dating this particular pen from around about the 1960s. Incidentally, as we said earlier, this is the Mark Mark III. This particular pen, as we said, is writing with a lovely italic nib. So on the downstroke, we're getting quite a broad line. On the cross stroke, we can get a fine line. A lovely writer, a lovely variation in the line and a lovely wet writer as well. So there's a writing sample as you can see a lovely variation in the writing. So because this pen as I say is going back to the customer what we need is to sort of to empty it and to flush it out so it's ready for the customer to use. So what I'm going to do is actually well, first of all, I'm going to turn the plunger knob like so. Now, what I suggest at this particular point, you don't do this at home while your pen is actually full of ink um, because it'll blob out of the tube here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the tube into the ink and then pull out the filler tube to the top there. And then simply, I'm going to just simply press down. And I hope you could hear that. Lots of ink is actually coming out of the pen through the snorkel tube. As I say, don't try doing this while your pen's actually full because it will blob and you don't want ink everywhere. Okay, but obviously, because it's going back to the customer, what we want to do is flush it out so the customer can actually use his own ink. So, what I'm going to do now is pop it in some water. And I'll be quiet and hopefully you can actually see what's going on in the water. 
Okay, could you see all them sort of bubbles? And again, we're leaving the snorkel tube in the water for a few seconds. And then what we'll do, let's pull out the plunger knob there. There you go, you can actually see all the water's blobbing out. So don't try it while the pen is actually is actually full. So if we press down on the plunger now, there you go, you can see all the ink, or in this case water, coming out of the pen. So let's do that again for you. Let's see if you can see all the bubbles in the water. Okay, so I'm hoping you could see the bubbles and hear them there. Again, we're leaving it in for a few seconds while the while the sack inflates inside and fills the pen. Well, in this case, water, but it would be ink. And again, we're pulling out the plunger knob again. And if I press down, you should see all the water squirt out. There you go, as it should. Incidentally, these particular pens, if you have them outside, let's do it again, last time. There you go, you could hear all the bubbling noises, etc. So everything's working fine. We're leaving it in for a few seconds. As I said before, well, as I was going to tell you before, these, these pens, if you take them outside and push down on the plunger, it'll actually squirt out, well, a couple of meters at least. Okay, so there we go. I'll finish off flushing it off camera, but what we do at this point, we simply turn the plunger knob again. Again, we see the snorkel tube retract back into the uh, into the pen. So let's move all this. So that's how we fill a Schaefer PFM. I hope it was helpful. Um, don't forget, I've got lots of more videos. Go and take a look, leave a comment, don't be shy. Uh, and for you, Ian, the pen will be back in the post to you tomorrow. I hope you're happy with it, and I hope you have many years of enjoyment with your writing with the pen. But for now, I'll just say bye bye now.